thing about Bandwagon is that it's a show about the making of a show. So you have wonderful kind of show within the show production numbers, and also you have kind of wonderful, beautiful uh, backstage relationships. And it's about, it's sort of a, a Valentine and a send up of putting on a, a Broadway show. It was originally written uh, when it was first on Broadway in the 30s, I believe, as just a review show. And so that's why all of these numbers have this different kind of flavor about them. Uh, and then later on in the movie, they decided to write a script around it. Uh, and now we have Douglas Carter Bean, who has written a brilliant script. He's reimagined uh, the show. And that's what I've really been calling this, is a reimagining. I had heard from Betty and Adolph that they never finished the movie, that, that what we're seeing is uh, sort of a, a two-thirds of a movie. That's why in the movie it suddenly just goes into these songs. So I thought, oh, well, it would be fun to turn that into a theater piece about theater and then finish the story. The whole thing is so enjoyable to hear Brian Stokes Mitchell singing, just in the read through singing next to me is fabulous. And to be with Michael McKean, uh, he's a very good friend of mine and a long time, I've worked with him so many times. Um, I've never played a woman with him, we played a gay couple, I used to dress as a man with Michael for so many years, so to have a heterosexual relationship with him is kind of interesting, because I was, we were always a gay couple. <laughs> People should come to see The Bandwagon because it's actually a brand new show. It has a, a, an entirely new book by Douglas Carter Bean and there are songs that weren't included in the film. So we're, we're presenting a, a completely new musical at Encores, which is a special event. Well, yeah.